Was that hole supposed to be an inch and a quarter or one inch? So you're drilling a hole with your brace and bit, and then suddenly you realize, oh shoot, it's the wrong hole, and I need a bigger one. And the problem with an auger bit is it's all run by that center screw, and if you don't have anything for that center screw to hit, it just wobbles all over the place and you can't get a nice clean hole. So what do you actually do when you need to enlarge a hole just a little bit? I'm going to show you two different ideas on something that I completely messed up, and I used both of them to fix the problem. So come along with me, and let's look at my mistake. So I need to drill a couple holes in the end plate of this. It's for my new bench. Um, you may have seen this video out recently. I'll leave a link to it down below where I'm actually building my new workbench. Um, so I'm drilling this hole as one inch and I kind of guessed at what size it should be. I just made the assumption that the threaded rod going through it is one inch. And then I found out, oops, it should be an inch and an eighth. How many times have we all made this issue? Now I gotta make the hole bigger. And then with uh, auger bits, this is a problem. So what I do is I grab a piece of dowel that is the same diameter as the hole I just drilled. And with some CA glue, I drive it into the hole. Um, some super glue just to hold it in place. I, I, I don't want it moving at all. This will then allow me to put in the bigger auger bit, which will draw, drive it an eighth inch larger. And I can drill it out just as I did before. A fairly straightforward process and a fairly quick fix as long as you have the right dowel on hand. Another method uh, is I later then went back and found out that I need to put this metal piece in there, which I should have read the directions first. So I need to make that inch and an eighth hole a little larger. I think it was up to an inch and a half. And another way of doing it is actually just using gouges uh, from a carving set. Now I actually, uh, this is one of my favorite carving sets from Two, Chase, two Cherries. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to see. But having a good set of carving gouges on hand is useful for many things. And finding the one with the right radius to match the new size it needs to be, I can just go around and slowly work it all the way down until I get it out. This leaves the edge a little bit rough unless you really take your time and, and leave it nice and smooth and get a perfectly round hole, which you can do. Uh, but for the case like this where I'm just going to be putting an insert in and I don't really care if it's rough or not, uh, this works perfectly. You can see how that just slides in. And now we can continue on with the process. So a couple quick ways to uh, make a mistake, not so much of a mistake. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, two quick ideas on how to make a hole slightly bigger. Uh, there are other methods out there and other ways that you can do it with drilling a hole to support the bit, uh, but these are the two that I use the most common. I actually use that dowel method probably about once every two to three months. Uh, as I tend to make a lot of mistakes. But uh, yeah, I do have a stock of dowels on hand for different sizes, and if not, the hardware store always has them in 16th inch sizes. So they usually can fit a hole. With a little bit of super glue, they work great. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my second channel. You might find something more over there. Uh, and I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out content like this. If you'd like to help out with that, you can find out more right over here. And until next time, have a wonderful day.